Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and thanks for trying our software out. Um, today, I'm going to be just uh, walking you through how to install AbbeyCAD, and this will be like a live demonstration. So, this will actually let you know approximately how long it's going to take to install. It's very, very quick, as you'll see. Um, you'll get to this screen, and you'll just choose one of these. I'm, I'm a returning customer, so, anyways. Proceed to downloads, and uh, then here on this uh, page, you'll go down and you'll choose either 64 or 32 bit. Normally, it's a 64 if you're, I'm not sure. All those newer uh, laptops and desktops run 64 bit uh, systems. So, here we just want to save the download and We'll let this uh, process take about three or four minutes to download. Now, while we're doing that, I wanted to show you something. So I've got um, antivirus installed here. And by clicking this little arrow, up arrow button here, we can access that antivirus. I wanted to talk about something uh, real quick because these antiviruses are good, you know, to catch um, infected files. But when you run them live, they can really uh, cause havoc and um, if we go up here and we go into settings now all these are going to be a little bit different but uh, here if we go into the components we can you know customize the file shield to say uh, to turn these some of these off as well because um, they can cause havoc as well. Scan when opening. So this would uh, scan your drawing every time you open a drawing. That's really going to slow you down. Uh, scan files while writing. Uh, this would be a good example of an issue where every five or ten minutes um, AbbeyCAD will automatically save your file. Now do you want the antivirus to scan that every time? So that's really going to slow you down as well. As well, it could cause crashing issues um, on certain systems if there's a memory conflict. So I just wanted to mention this because this is kind of an important uh, thing to set up uh, before you start using AbbeyCAD. Um, and as I said, all programs are different. Uh, so make sure that you check out these settings uh, and look for them. Look for live scanning and look for ways to customize uh, the file writing and reading uh, settings. Now the web setting is not going to really affect too much neither is the email so you don't have to worry about that it's mainly the file settings. Now if you want to you could you know set up your antivirus to scan uh, your files let's say at the end of the workday uh, but not while you're working. I, I don't just don't think it's a great way to um, to use the antivirus. Now that's my opinion, but um, if you're having issues with crashing, uh, by all means, uh, check out your antivirus. It's probably the first thing that's going to cause havoc on your uh, CAD system. So we got a minute and a half to go. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit too about our um, different uh, you know plans that we have. Um, yeah, let's go to the uh, let's go to the get started page. Okay. Um, here we have our our MetQ licenses. Uh, now, if you click on the don't have CAD, you're going to get into our AbbeyCAD licenses. Um, so we got our monthly, which is forty nine dollars. Uh, includes a 15-day trial. Uh, then we have our perpetual, um, and these prices may vary depending on the promotions. We're, we currently have a $150 off promotion. Um, but there's basically three plans. There's a perpetual plan, basically that covers you uh, for uh, free updates for one year now going into major versions there's always going to be an upgrade fee uh, so keep that in mind but it does include free updates 
and then you have the option to update or not a major version. Now our monthlies and our yearlies, they always include free upgrades and updates. Um, so it's got something to keep in mind, but again, you really don't own the software. Um, so that's a, a big disadvantage to the monthly and the yearlies, although it is a great way to get started. Now we can switch you uh, from a monthly to a lifetime or a perpetual license uh, quite easily within the first um, six months or so. We can, we can apply a half credit uh, towards the purchase of uh, whatever you have spent um, on your uh, monthly fees will we'll give you half of that. Now it's gotten to the screen where it's going to ask me to run the software. So I'm going to go ahead and run. I'm just going to go ahead and put all the files in here. Now if you don't find the, um, the download or if you don't have a run button, you can always uh, click on your downloads folder. Here I'm just going to click yes and then click next and you accept the agreement we'll read through it real quick basically saying that to you we don't want you to be copying this software or giving it to somebody else and uh, just choose the default directory here and choose all three of these here and next and next and next and install so now it's putting the uh, Visual C++ library on, which is good. That's needed for AbbeyCAD. And we also have um, a little indicator where it's showing you what files are being uh, extracted and so forth. So this is going to take just a little bit of time. Now in the meantime, let me show you where that downloads folder is. So if we go down here, we click on the downloads folder and then uh, click on downloads and uh, since it's installing it's taking a little bit of time here and here you can see the AbbeyCAD uh, file that we had downloaded so if you don't see that file look in your downloads folder and it'll be sitting here and then you just double click on it but in the case that uh, what we just did um, just simply choose run if that uh, option is available. So now it's installing the printers. It's a JPEG printer that comes with it. Basically that means you can uh, send the file to a image file or even a PDF uh, printer which it's installing here. Now it's getting to the point where we need to install the MetQ files. So MetQ is our engineering uh, application. So you want to uh, say yes to this and go ahead and install. This goes very, very fast. And now it's putting the ICAD lib library on. Uh, that is basically uh, 20,000 plus block library. So we have uh, a free trial um, which does not include these and then we have uh, our subscription trials that do include uh, all the files so uh, keep that in mind as well if you just wanted to try it out free no credit card you're gonna get some limitation but for the most part 80 to 90 percent of the program will be there and you'll be able to create drawings and experiment uh, with AbbeyCAD. So now it's uh, uh, coming up with this little dialog here. We just want to uh, you know, choose the try button. And when you sign up for a uh, subscription, um, we give you the 15 days to try it out. And during that 15 days, you're basically running in a demo mode uh, without a key. And then on the 16th day, we send you an actual key to register the program. Uh, so it takes a, a couple of weeks while you're in the trial mode just to be running without the, um, the registration key. 
Uh, so uh, keep that in mind as well. So we're going to be choosing the ribbon menu here. I'll show you what that looks like. And that's basically this top ribbon you see uh, on the top side underneath the toolbar. And here we want to choose the proper um, units. We want English in our case. And we're essentially done. So AviCAD is, is now loaded onto the system. Um, now, let me just show you next how to uh, create a new drawing before uh, we close out here for the day. So um, up here is the new uh, icon. Um, and essentially when you click this, you'll be asked to select a template file uh, to create your new drawing. Now, typically that's going to be the PCAD uh, drawing template, this one. Okay, that's one way of doing it. So we can just select this, and then it loads a new drawing, and we're all set and ready to go. There's actually another way of doing this. So if you type in OP for options, and enable the new drawing wizard here, now when we click on the same icon, we get a different kind of menu. Um, we get a wizard option here, which will prompt us through setting up a new drawing. Now, it basically um, is, is kind of a nice fe feature, and I kind of recommend turning it on. Um, so here we want to create an entirely new drawing, and we want feet and inches in our example, and then we want, let's say, fractional and decimal degrees for our uh, angular units and this is fine and here we can turn on the grid the snap you know all these things I just leave them as is and now we've got this new drawing that we've set up now at this point we can save this drawing as a template you'll see down here now this is handy because if we save this drawing as a template we can just open up this drawing each time we want to use AviCAD and we don't have to go through the wizard so if we save this drawing we'll just call it new drawing um, and we'll save it in our on our desktop for example Now when we exit out of, of AviCAD, and look at our desktop, we have this new drawing template here. Open up AviCAD. And we click on the new drawing icon here. And instead of this uh, folder here, we can browse to our desktop. And there's our new drawing template. So by opening up that, we basically skipped over the wizard. But we've got the drawing that we want each, each and every time we open up uh, AviCAD. Now this drawing template e might even have some schedules in it some general notes, it could have a title block in it, it have, could have all these things that you need. Every time you set up a new drawing, you're having to create these things over and over again. Well, this drawing template basically skips over that step, and then that way you can build up your, um, your default template uh, uh, so that you don't have to reset up your drawing each and every time. So hopefully this has been helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to holler. The number here is 888-271-7121, and have a great day. Bye.